Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that spiritually, I say it a lot, but spiritually you are a powerful, powerful being. And then knowing that and embracing it, there's no need to prove to flesh that you're tough. That can be in various different avenues of life. You don't have to be the toughest or the strongest person when it comes to your physical strength. You don't have to be the toughest when it comes to uh, not displaying your feelings. You know, This is mostly for men, I guess, because these are things that are held against men. But even with women, you don't have to be tough in the sense of doing what men do. You don't have to be tough in outdoing anybody. That's men and women. You don't. There's no need. Because in that toughness is an element of fear that your strength can be taken away. When you operate from that source of the all that is, the creator, like, that's never taken away from you because that's who you truly are in essence. So in connecting with that, like connecting with that unlimited power you're limitless and that's when love can really tap into your reality see when we're caught up in the idea of uh, combat or competition things of that sort we lose sight of love because we're in a we're in a power position we're in a power position of dominance for what? I'm not telling you theor theoretically because I've seen it play out over many, many areas of my life. Cool. I made my peace with it. Made my peace with it. There's always somebody smaller. There's always somebody bigger. There's always somebody who's barely done it. There's always somebody who's done it as long as they've known how to do it. No need to compete. I stop competing. I still feel the need to be tough. I don't need to be right. I don't need to be wrong. I don't need any of that. Because I trust that God got me. <laughs> I laugh because on the way here to the park, I was leaving one park and going to this other one to chill, enjoy nature, possibly do another walk. And on the way, there's a car in front of me that was moving slow. And I knew that my turn was coming up, but either I had to stay behind this person and go slower, or I could speed up and attempt to go around him. Well, my attempt to go around him failed because they were going so slow that it was difficult for me to maneuver without making a dangerous situation. So instead of beating myself up, I said, you know what? Cool, I'll take a scenic route. So I went the opposite direction. Hit a U-turn when the original direction I wanted to go. No sweat. It just so happened I ran into a woman who had just got out of her car. So as I came to the stop sign and approached her vehicle, I asked her, hey, are you, are you doing okay? She told me she was lost. She said where she was attempting to go. I didn't know where she was, where her destination was, but I knew where her next course of action was. I knew where the next road she was looking to find was. So I got her there. I calmed her down. Like, oh, it's too easy. Go right down here at this stop sign. Bust a right. Everything else is fine. It's simple. See, I'm sharing that with you as random as it sounds because I could have told myself, oh, why were you trying to speed past that car? Whatever. No. I said, okay. That didn't go out how you expected it to patience go this way enjoy the ride come back and go back to where you were headed and in doing so allowing myself to be okay with being wrong with making a small mistake seeming mistake i was able to help somebody it's a beautiful thing it's not a prideful thing and although that was as simple as making an incorrect calculation in traffic Think about how that applies to various aspects of our lives. We don't have to beat ourselves up about the past. We don't have to beat ourselves up about the present or the future. 
is simply knowing that the power that we receive from God, from the creator, gives us unlimited strength. It gives us unlimited resources, unlimited power, unlimited abilities. So don't beat yourself up. Because when you step into that, that glory of God that reigns upon all of us, you just love the dust. You just love the journey. That's it. You operate from love. You keep an open heart. And you can maneuver about. And who knows? Maybe along the way, you help somebody who got lost. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.